All right, guys, so it's been a minute, and uh, today, as you guys can probably tell, I'm on vacation. Uh, got the vacation get up going. The purpose of today's video is we're gonna be shooting on the Sony a7 IV, and we're gonna be checking out, I haven't shot a lot in it, the uh, Picture Profile 8, which is the S-Log3 with the Cine Gamma. So we're gonna be uh, checking that out. We're gonna be doing some beach walks, and we're gonna be going into some restaurants and things like that. I'm just gonna take you on vacay for, with me for a day. And uh, hopefully by the end of this video, you have an idea of what it looks like before it's graded, uh, what it looks like when it's graded, how I achieved those results using like the Sony LUTs that I just found on the website. And then hopefully you can go out and try it for yourself. So let's dive in. Gavin, is this your dog? Yeah, my dog. Oh, cool. This is Gavin, the hotel owner. This is my favorite place to stay in Hohai. <laughs> <laughs> I've been before I came at Christmas too. What's your dog's name? Wanza. Wanza. It's like meatballs in the <laughs> Means meatballs. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, see you buddy. Okay guys, so that's all the footage that I shot just kind of on the beach. It's super beautiful around here. So I'm contrasting that by shooting in a garbage pit that I found. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go back into my office on the computer and we are going to check out some of the Sony LUTs that you can slap on this to quickly grade it. And then you can put your own unique spin on it after that. I'll show you just kind of like the colors I've been using that are working really well. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's head back to my hotel room. Okay guys, so here we are back in the hotel studio. Here is my MacBook. I'm running the 16 inch with Final Cut Pro. So what we're about to do is we're gonna take all of that footage, that picture profile eight and that S-Log3 footage. We're gonna throw it on the MacBook. We're gonna convert it to Rec. 709. And then I'm gonna show you guys just some of my favorite creators LUTs that I like to slap on top, do a light grade on that. And then I like to tweak it a little bit. So that's what I'm about to do with you guys. So let's jump in to Final Cut. All right guys, before we dive into the color grading part of this video, I hope you're finding value and I would really appreciate it if you could help my channel out. It goes a really long way, more than you could even imagine. If you just give it a like, that's all you gotta do. Just give it a like for me and uh, consider subscribing, but you don't even gotta do that. Let's jump back into the video. I just wanna say I appreciate you guys and I'm trying for 1,000 subs uh, before the summer and you guys are a big part of that. So to help my channel get seen, please leave a like. Okay, so here we are in Final Cut and what I've done is I've created a new project and I've just put in uh, the proxy file, so it's gonna run a whole lot smoother on my MacBook 16 inch. I don't have the M1 chip, so we're just gonna work with this right now. Right now, um, I'm not seeing a really great picture, so what we need to do is we need to first uh, turn this to 709. And the first thing I'm gonna show you actually, and I put these links in the description, is two assets that will help you. So here's a Sony imaging support page. So we are looking at picture profile eight right now with the S-Log3 with the Cine Gamut, and um, that's what we were shooting on all day. So the next resource I'm gonna give you is from a website called Premier Gal, and this is a free 709 conversion LUTs for a bunch of different things, Canon, Sony, DJI. So for today, in this pack, if you guys download these LUTs, all you gotta do is provide your email, and uh, she'll send it over to you. So uh, there are four different uh, S-Log3 LUTs that you can um, find in this pack once you download these. So again, I'm gonna leave that in the description and let's go back to Final Cut and throw them on here. So I'm gonna need two adjustment layers, but for now, let's go over to Titles, add an adjustment layer on top, and then I need to go to my effects. I use MLUT for color grading. 
So I'm going to slap that on. And looking here, I go to the little film strip and I can load now my custom LUT. So if I go to my YouTube assets, I use it in Final Cut and it says Sony look, it's like a profiles tab. And this is again from Premiere Gal. So I have four options here. And what I like to do is just move it to the side so I can see the changes that are happening. So if I, I use number one, not bad, but I see it's quite blown out. I've lost dynamic range. Number two goes a little bit cooler in color and not great. Okay, I'm starting to uh, do okay here with um, just out of the box. I see better dynamic range, so I might be using three. And number four, hyper aggressive and that's too warm. So let's go back to three, which we can get from Premiere Gal. So that's a better start for me. Um, what I then like to do is I'm just going to play with this a little bit. So in terms of exposure, I'm not going to play with the saturation yet. I'm going to leave that for the other adjustment layer on top when I do some color grading. But for now, exposure is pretty key to me. So what I can do here is I have two options. So right now I can just simply play with the shadows and I see that I'm getting a lot of detail back in the image when I drop these shadows down. In the midtones, sure, I can do that as well. Also going to kill the exposure a bit in the midtones because I, I overexpose this image, but it's really easy to get back. That's why I love this A7 IV and I love this picture profile and, and 4K 10-bit color is, the 422 color has been amazing. And I'll show you what you can achieve with it in a second. So I like this. Another option you can do is you can click on the color board one and you can switch to color wheels to have a little bit more customization in what you're doing. Um, I kind of like this as well. So the, it just has a little bit more customization with the color wheels and I like that. And you can also change the white balance. So the color temperature as well and tint. And I like that you have that option. So anyways, that's adjustment layer number one. Let's go back to color board one. Then I'm not done. What I need to do is add another adjustment layer. And this one here is going to be for my favorite creator's LUT. And this could be uh, whatever you guys have been using recently. Try out new ones. Um, I like, I'll show you in a second, but I'm going to drop that layer on. I'm going to load a custom LUT. And I have um, a bunch of different creator's LUTs. So I'll go to the LUT bundle. All of these guys are great, but what I've been liking is Valdez and this Exotic Palms 2 is giving me a pretty good look. Uh, now, I have too many shadows, so I need to fix that. So after slapping that grade on, it's a pretty heavy grade, I think I have it at 100% intensity. But what I'll do here is I'm just going to go back to my base, my Rec. 709 base, and now I'm going to readjust a little bit. So. I need my shadows up a bit because after slapping that grade on, the shadows were just too much. I'm still getting pretty good dynamic range in the back. So I'm just bringing this exposure back a little bit because it was far too dark after I slapped on my LUT. So now let's go and now we can play around a little bit with saturation. So you see I have my Exotic Palms 2 LUT I have it at intensity 100. And don't fear for intensity 100 on slapping your grade on unless you didn't use 422 10-bit color. And then that could be a bit excessive and you're going to need to drop that grade a little bit. So anyways, um, when I am here, I can now play around a bit with the saturation. Again, in the shadows if you like. Or you could simply use the one furthest to the left. And this is a global saturation increase. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to do that a little bit. I'm liking the way that looks. And I can also go to my color wheels, as mentioned, and just play around for some final tweaks here. It's looking a little yellow to me, so I can get it on the cool side. And now if we look at my adjustment layer one, which is the Rec. 709, I can disable that. And that's kind of what it's looking like on color board one. OK, 
okay, where I've made some major adjustments. And then I'll also go to my saturation tab and my color grade. Yeah, and I really like what I've done here in the final tweaks. It looks uh, washed out a little bit here and too low in contrast. So I got some contrast back in this grade. And I've actually moved it to a little bit more cooler of an image because it was looking quite yellow before. I could probably even go a little bit more cool. But anyways, um, we've gone a really long way from the Picture Profile 8 uh, just S-Log3 file. And this is the process I use to do that. That's completely up to you what to do once it's converted to 709. But using the color wheels is probably, that's been my best friend. I like the little bit extra customization other than the color board in Final Cut. So that's pretty much it. All right guys, so there we have it. That about wraps up the video for today. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel. The purpose and my hope for you guys in that video is that you guys understood that actually grading S-Log3 footage isn't as intimidating as it seems to some people. I know for me, it was really difficult at the beginning. I knew it was better dynamic range, but I was really worried that I wouldn't be able to achieve nice colors with it. So I hope this video gave you a little bit more confidence in trying out S-Log3 on your a7 IV or on your a7S III. Um, so that was pretty much the purpose of today's video, give you more confidence and get you uh, out shooting with a better picture profile and you know you can achieve good results with that. I hope some of the tips and tricks for color grading helped you guys and I hope some of my recommendations for good creators who produce high quality LUTs at a reasonable price uh, helps you guys as well. Um, more a7 IV content is on the way so if you are interested please like this video. Um, please be sure to ring that bell and press subscribe because I think 97% of the people who watch my videos aren't even subscribed. And I'm trying to grow that channel um, all the way up to a thousand right now. That's my next goal. So uh, I really appreciate you guys. And 500 is right around the corner too. I think I'm sitting at like 493 right now. And that'll be cool because I can hit that creator tab and I can make more videos that suit you guys. You could be uh, part of the team that helps me decide uh, what to make content for. So thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video. Matty out. Peace.